Hi guys and welcome to a video by me, Bullet of Bullets. Um, this is a bit of a different video. I will not be showing you anything in Firefox, which I've been doing recently. I am showing you something within Windows, which I was quite surprised when I found it myself. And it's actually a really useful tool. Um, now a lot of you may know about it. I'm not sure. Um, unfortunately, this will only work with Vista. Um, the same kind of thing might be in XP. Um, but I used XP for many years and never saw it in XP. But then again, I've used Vista for about six months now, and I didn't see it in this. Um, but I don't think it is an XP, so this may only work with Vista, depending if it is an XP or not. I'm not sure. Um, so to get to it in Vista, you go in, you do right click on the desktop, you click Personalize. By the way, I'm not going to tell you what it is until I get to it, and then I'll show you because it's pretty good. Once you're then in that, you click on um, Ease of Access, which will come up as separate. Oh, and it doesn't have to come up separately. Now you've got all these. It says Start Magnifier, uh, Start On Screen and Keyboard, Start Narrator, Start uh, High Contrast. Now these are the things I want to be focusing on. Um, first of all, the Narrator. I won't actually go into it, um, but what it should do is uh, you can highlight something and it will it'll in this woman's voice, it's normally Sam but it's not on this um, Vista it will um, then start speaking to you and it will do uh, um, so if you highlight something and then click the control button and plus button I think it is it will read whatever that is, if it's a massive long email and you can't bother to read it and you just want something to read it to you you're able to use that start narrator that is just that like everything's in high contrast as it as it says and that's on screen keyboard, I'll show you that quickly. Once it finally loads. It's not really all that interesting the uh screen keyboard, it's just this. It's just a small screen keyboard and that you can type things by holding over it. Um so it's just an on screen keyboard really, it's not really anything that interesting. It's just a little on screen keyboard which is quite useful, again only in Vista. Um and then there's also what I want to be focusing on is the magnifier which I think is absolutely awesome this um, just to let you know if there was a little glitch a second ago when I was speaking it's the fact that for some reason about halfway through me actually doing this video it automatically cut off what I was saying so I was just practically speaking to myself to have to redo it again pretty sad yes um, so this is what I was going to show you this is the magnifier so it, I'm able to magnify things so um I'm going onto this, and as you can see here, up here, it is magnifying whatever I am doing, um, which is extremely helpful for videos. So if I then drag this, it will just magnify me doing that. Anything that I do will be magnified up the top here, um, which is extremely useful for videos, because um, if I'm typing a URL in or something like that, people will be able to see it. So for instance, I'm typing down here, people will be able to follow that, and also this thing is extremely useful where it follows what you're typing so if I bring this my cursor up here so you're not able to see it on the screen recorder and I start typing it automatically brings it down here um, which I think is, is very useful indeed and as you can see the magnifying of the um, the magnifier is in extremely good quality it's just like the computer is itself so it just be very useful for videos and things like that um, or if you can't see very well so you're able to um, see what you're doing. Unfortunately, again, it's only in Vista. Um, but you're able to change quite a lot of the settings. I'll just change this here. You're able to just change it if it's minimized and start up. You're able to change the scale factor, which I normally like on times two. So it's very detailed indeed. You can see exactly what I'm doing quite well. You can change if it's docked or not. And if it's not docked, you're able to change a lot of the size. I prefer it to be like this. Not like that. So it's not really that big. So it's just like that. So you're the, I'm then able to see my have my full screen still, um, but yeah, it's just changed again. Um, you have to change the position of it if it's docked. If it's not docked, you obviously won't be able to. Um, and following the mouse, following the keyboard focus, and following uh, edit, uh, following text edit, which is just when you type that and if it follows it or not. So um, that's it really. You just go into that. You go to personalize. You go to um, Ease of process, I think it's called. I completely forgot. Um, ease of access, and you go into that. Um, 
Again, sorry, it's only for this to people. It might be for XP, but I've never seen it on there. Um, so, that's about it, really. If you like my videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.